hi, hello. Today is a life update video. I'm feeling a bit more upbeat now, and that's good. So, I'm in hospital. You can tell that based on my surroundings. I don't want to go into details as to why I'm in hospital, but in short, I made an attempt on my life. It was pretty serious, and now I'm in psych ward. Moving on, life update. So, my haloperidol dose has been increased. I now take 2.5 milligrams, which is a lot higher. When I came in, I was on 0.5, and now on 2.5. And it is really helping, it's really helping my sleep. I've done most of my training for my job, which is positive. I'm getting back into YouTube again, another positive for me. I started doing my coursework for uni again, which is huge, huge, huge. But let's focus on small things in hospital. While I've been in hospital, I've only had one incident. I haven't self-harmed, I haven't made an attempt on my life, I haven't kicked off, and I haven't tried to leave. So much so that I actually do have escorted ground leave. Tomorrow I'm seeing a consultant and I'm going to film the other half of this video after I spoke to the consultant team because tomorrow there could either be uh, you're getting discharged, you're staying longer, it could go either way. Personally I think they're going to keep me in longer, just personally. I can't see them discharging me tomorrow. When they, like, they won't even let, let me go off hospital grounds escorted. I have to be escorted on hospital grounds. But I don't know. I guess you never know. I decided to film this tonight because I thought I would film how I feel before the meeting and how after. A lot's happened since my last update anyway. Moving away from mental health for a second, me and Becca split up. And I don't say that easily. I actually want to cry now. We split up and we're moving into separate places. Becca's moving home to her parents. I'm looking at moving to Brighton. Nothing dramatic happened. We were just, both our mental health were suffering. Like we're still friends and I still care enormously about Becca and I always will. She'll always have a place in my heart and you know, I do genuinely love her. I, I didn't just say that, I meant that. And I love her as a friend now. That's the difference. So that's been hard to deal with. Everything happens for a reason and I, I believe that. I stand by that. As far as medication goes, there hasn't been any other dramatic changes. So, I've got a ward round today and anything could happen. I could be discharged, I could become an informal patient, or they could do nothing. <laughs> um, I don't really know. So. I'll update you guys after. So I do this little clip now. I'm very anxious about it. I got discharged. I'm going home. Successful. Successful ward round. I'm going home. Ayy.